everyone and welcome to another episode of Salem Volupia. Uh, been in and around Milford Haven area now for about six days. Uh, so we've been all the way down the river, spent the night down there with our friends off uh, Salem Seagull South. Uh, we spent night at Dale uh, and we spent a few nights in the marina here. So time to set off. So our plan will be we're going to leave tomorrow uh, just before high water on the free flow um, out of the, the, the marina lock gates. So, and then we're going to head round to Penzance, which is Newlam Harbour. So it's, it should be, a, uh, I'm guessing, about a 24-hour sail. Not done all my planning yet, but I'm going to do that uh, in the next couple of hours. And and then we'll spend the night there, move on, night in Falmouth, and then move on and finish in Plymouth. But we'll uh, start speeding our journey up now. Uh, we want to go to Liverpool. So once we're in Plymouth, we're going to go to Liverpool for a couple of days to see some family before I start my new posting. Uh, in Plymouth. So enjoy everybody. That's us leaving Milford Haven Marina. Uh, spent a few days here. Uh, rest and recuperated. Got the washing and all that done. And uh, been waiting for some good winds. So we've got some uh, nice wind coming from the northeast, which is going to get us uh, round to Penzance quite nice. It's going to be about, a, I reckon, about a 24 hour, 25 hour sail. Uh, so it's half one now in the afternoon so hopefully uh, this time tomorrow we'll be getting into Penzance Jen's uh, first night on board doing a night sail without uh, without any crew oh, so, so uh, we set off from Milford Haven yesterday um, left the marina we were heading to Newlam Penzance area. It was going to be a 24 hour sail. And we got about 18 miles offshore. Uh, we were in about a 4 6, I reckon. Um, yeah, the swell, swell was twice as big as predicted. Uh, I think we had probably about a metre and a half. It was a bit too big. Jam was quite a little bit green. And we were running an order to, to turn around. And then uh, the wind picked up even more. and. It broke our, so the, you know, what you can see there, the track down below broke, you can see we've just done a temporary fix with a bit of a, a small amount of rope on there. So we turned round um, and as I was trying to pull it in, I stuck a barefoot line on it and I was trying to control it. So we stuck a barefoot line up there um, and I was trying to control it on the winches see just there and that happens so i've got got my finger uh, trapped in it it was uh, the wing caught and it just pulled it straight straight through my hand and uh pulled my little finger through the winch not too sure if it's broke yet but uh we we don't carry an x-ray machine on board so i don't I can't give you that information but anyway it's so and i've strapped it up but it'll be better i've got loads more spare ones so we came into Dale, so we came back to Milford Haven, got here just before sunset and we're in Dale. There's just a, a small pontoon not connected to anything, so we tied tied up there for the day and phoned uh, Milford Haven Marina this morning uh, and booked in a berth there for us. So we're going to go up there this afternoon and go in through the lock of free flow. We've got probably about 50, 50 shackles on board and I tried all the shackles and the pins are too small because it was the pin that broke on the uh, the traveller, the shackle on the, shackle on the pin. So we're going to go in there and use the channelers, try and get something uh, better for us. And then uh, the weather's possibly looking good on Sunday, it's Friday now, so uh, we'll possibly stay there for two days and then leave on Sunday uh, and try again. But yeah, failure. So adding onto that with my uh, possibly broken finger, I was soldering the other day, I had to zoom in, uh, and yeah, that happened. It was a bit of a uh, solder left on the soldering iron, and uh, it just dripped off. And you can see where the big one where it hit, and then the little one where I tried to rub it off, but ended there, and then ended up on, on my leg. But yeah, soldering irons. Hot and he hurt. So, hello again, Milford Haven. We uh, said goodbye to this place 24 hours ago and uh, 
because of our little problems down there and these and the wife going sick. Uh, we're back exactly 24 hours later. Going sick. So that's us. We've just had two days in uh, Milford Haven and that. Just been out for a meal and uh, had a little drink in, in one of the bars just outside the marina. Um, we put a post on um, YouTube last year saying, does anybody want to come sailing with us? Um, I've emailed some of those people off there and I put a post on uh, Facebook Sailing Buddies. So we've got someone called Paul joining us. He's on the train on the way down to us now. So he'll join us uh, about six o'clock tonight and then I'll show him around the boat and stuff and then we're gonna I'm gonna do my planning but I think we're gonna end up leaving uh, about 4 a.m. tomorrow morning on the uh, high tide uh, or as soon as the gates open uh, of the, the lock for the marina. And then that'll give us plenty of time to get over to uh, Cornwall but it should be a good sail, hopefully. So, hope you enjoyed the video everyone. Thanks for watching, ta -da.